Hi, I'm Erica Palmieri. I am a fifth grade teacher at Greenbrier Elementary School and I'm going to tell you about bar models today. A bar model is a really exciting visualization tool that students are able to use to take the complex and abstract parts of mathematics and bring them back to the concrete numbers that they understand. So for example, when you're even in younger grades, you would just be clicking straight blocks together, but as you get older, they become much more complex and they help students understand very complex problems in a simple visual way. Let me show you an example of what you might see in possibly a second grade classroom. So in this word problem, we have a second grade class with a new aquarium and there are 21 fish in it and the fish were given by families, the rest were bought by the school. How many did the school buy? In this problem, the students would typically put together their blocks and then move into that more abstract thinking. In the abstract thinking, they know that they have 21 fish and they know that 15 were given by families. A student might even label that with families. Then they realize the question mark, that's what they're looking for. Whenever students label the question mark, it helps them to not get lost in their calculations when they get into those complex problems. From there, they realize that this is a part whole bar model and they can subtract. They take 15 away from 21, taking away those green blocks, and they realize that their answer would be, they can count their blocks up, six. Then they check if their answer makes sense. Does six fish make sense in this bar? Yes, it does. That was really exciting, right? Let's move into a more complex problem that fourth or fifth graders might see. So in this problem, we're comparing three people, Jackie, Kim, and Mina. They have different amounts of stamps and we know the total. This would be a problem where students might get lost in all these different calculations. However, a bar makes it easy to understand. They know they have 55 stamps in all, and they also know that Jackie has twice as many as Kim, and Mina has 10 stamps. Without a bar, this would be a lot of information to keep track of. However, with the bar, we can label what we know and move on from there. Mina has 10 stamps. We know Kim has some mystery amount, so we label it with a question mark. And we also know that Jackie has twice that mystery amount, and their total is 55. From there, students realize they can take 10 away from the 55, because we know what Mina has. She's not a mystery. Then we look at Kim, Jackie, who has two blocks, and Kim has one. From there, after we subtract 10, we know we have 45 stamps left for three boxes. Then the students realize, oh, I have 45 evenly distributed amongst three boxes. Then they can realize that is a division problem because they're sharing things evenly among three boxes. They would do 45 divided by three. They would realize that was 15. And before going on, they would check their answer. Does it make sense that 15 would fit into this block? Yeah, look at the 10 block. It's a little bit bigger than that. That would absolutely make sense. So it's taking those pieces and making it make sense with their computation. I love using bar models in my classroom because it makes the math more accessible to all students. When they take all this complex information and break it down, it's easier for them to enable themselves to go step by step and understand problems. So we've barely scratched the surface of bar models, but I just wanted you to understand why it's such a helpful tool, even if possibly you weren't raised with it or exposed to it. I'm super happy that you tried to learn a little bit with me today. Bye guys!